What's going on, everybody? Um, I know it's been a while, but I really needed to talk about John Cornyn um, and this whole gun thing that he's negotiating, leading the leading the charge on the negotiations with. Um, any John Cornyn? If anybody doesn't know, he is Texas's senior Republican senator, and. He, He's always been this, like, you know, he's awful. He's horrible. He's a complete piece of shit. And anybody who's paid attention to him knows that. And Because he, he's always been this type where he talks about, oh, small government, we need to cut spending because government spending's out of control. While still voting for every on the bus giant spending package that's out there. As long as it increases military spending so we can bomb more children in the Middle East. Yeah, it's just that's the type of guy he is. Um, and he just did something that would guarantee you not to get elected in the time. He did the one thing you can't do as a Republican. And that is, especially a Republican in Texas. And that is negotiate a gun control bill. Yeah. And... He's done. I mean, I don't think he's up till for re-election until 2024, but he won't get real. He will lose in the primary. He got this week. He got booed at the Texas convention, like he should. And 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 his, he tried to explain himself to everybody booing him. He was talking about. It's like, oh, I fought tooth and nail to keep a um assault rifle bans off and magazine bans and longer wait periods before you own a gun I fought tooth and nail to keep them off so but I ha you have to give them something because that's what you have to you can't just you have to be able to negotiate because this is Congress and this is what we do and I just want to say that is all bullshit no they're, they're coming to take your rights how about you just tell them to go fuck themselves and this, this rant's going to be turned into more just Republicans and their fucking inept ability to do anything right and how they just roll over and show their bellies it's like no it's because why, why do you need to negotiate because if you don't the media is going to say you don't care about dead kids they're going to tell you that anyway who the fuck cares what they think fuck them it's they're going to like why why negotiate with these people that hate you and are going to hate you no matter what and j just to and just like and you give away people's rights to make it seem like you're working with them. Oh, yeah, Democrats didn't get everything they wanted. But they got closer. They got closer to what they wanted. And what did we get? We got further away from what we want. As We got, we got more gun laws. Further away from what we wanted. And that's the way it always does. Like, how about we make a step? Like, like, negotiate. No, fuck negotiating. I want to, I want a prominent Republican to stand up there and say, "No, you know what? We're going to remove gun laws. We're going to remove the ban on machine guns. How about that? We're going to we're going to that's yes, we're going to make fully automatic weapons legal for every US citizen. How about we do that instead of just, "Oh no, we're fighting to not get so they don't get everything they want. They're just going to get 10% of what they want while we get fucking nothing no fuck that grow like and it's they're either they either support act secretly support these larger government programs and like, expansion of government and violation of your rights or they're fucking cowards and either way they're fucking useless and they shouldn't be in there and he and what was in the bill like yeah they're not banning ar-15s like your assault like assault rifles made up term but assault rifles aren't being banned you can still get a 30 round magazine they're not increasing the weight limit on it but what was in the bill um for starters 18 year olds uh, it's making it harder for an 18 year old to buy a firearm so let me get this straight an 18 year old can is mentally able enough to be drafted, sign up for the draft and be drafted, but not even just like not only being forced to join the military because we because we really haven't had a draft since the 40s, so let's just say let's forget about the draft, even though they can be drafted 
but we think they're mentally able to decide, hey, I'm going to sign up for the military and go fight and possibly die. I'm, and I'm old enough to understand I'm making that commitment, but they're not old enough to say I to be able to defend themselves while they're at home. How does that make sense? So that's bullshit. That's just... We won't, like... Let's let's make the age to join the military twenty one. How about we like, if anybody was really serious who talks about oh eighteen year olds shouldn't be able to own firearms, well they should be able to, they shouldn't be able to join the military either because one of those is a way bigger commitment and takes way more takes way more is is a way bigger decision than I'm gonna own a I'm gonna own a firearm, but no they they can that we take advantage of people who. You know, eight dumb 18 year olds who've just been propagandized to join the military since they were 5 years old well, no we let them join the military but we can't let them defend themselves yeah that makes sense and then the other thing it did was red flag laws it, incre- it gave s- s- incentives for states to implement red flag laws and what a red flag law is is someone who's suspected or has been diagnosed with a mental illness gets their guns taken away from them without due process. Like, there's no trial, no judge, no jury. Nope, they just come in and take them, and maybe they'll get a... And then you'll go to court to see if you get your rights back. But they get taken away without, without any due process. And that just leads up to another question of what is mental illness? What is it? What, like, what's the line where you're going to say someone gets it? Like, is it depression or anxiety? Because that's mental illness. Like, are we going to take away someone's right to defend themselves because they take Xanax? They have they have a prescription to Xanax. That seems a that seems kind of fucked up. That makes zero sense. And that's just like all these laws always go in the same direction. And that this is why Michael Malice says progressive. Or conservatism is just progressive progressivism driving the speed limit. Because they never make a fucking stand. They roll over and John Cornyn rolling over this time is gonna fuck him. He did the one thing you can't do as a Republican, especially in Texas, and that is support red is support be the pu- major pusher for gun control laws. He got booed at the GOP convention in Houston and he's not going to win another election in Texas and it is, I'm glad to see this piece of shit getting out of here. I wish it was 15 years ago. I wish he never got elected but people, like, he he made because, guess what? This is the one thing you can't do for conservatives. You can, like, you can keep spending money. You can government debt. They don't care. You can go to war. You can send their kids to go fight and die in a bullshit war but you try to take their guns that's when that's when they that's when Republicans step up. That's when conservatives step up and say no. That's too much, and that's what they're doing. And John Cornyn, your days are numbered in the Senate. You're going to lose. You're not going to get out of the primary. So they're going to do it. This you just in. Yeah, it's. I'm glad everybody knows he's a piece of shit now. I've been saying this for. How long I've been saying it for five or six years since I've really like probably closer to ten years since I've been following politics. I've been saying it since I've been glued to following politics. So I've been saying this shit for ten years, and it's it's nice to see people are finally waking up. I just wish they would have done it sooner and before he did something fucking like this. So yeah, that's that's all I got to say. Um, like, share, and subscribe if you like it. Uh, leave a comment. And yeah, what what do you what are y'all thoughts about John Cornyn? Let me know, and um, I'll see y'all next time. See y'all next time. Peace.